Traders on Brighton Seafront claim that many of them could go out of business because of a big increase in rents. In one case, the rent has gone up 300%. But the City Council says the amount it charges merely reflects market rates, and it's the first review in many years. Sean Killick reports. Traders in the arches on Brighton Seafront add character and charm, but many claim they could be forced out of business by big increases in their rent, from around £6,000 a year to £18,000 in some cases. Adam Chinnery runs a water sports business and chairs the Seafront Business Association. He spent more than £80,000 transforming the arches he uses from dark and dank sites recorded in these photos to bright and pleasant places. He says many others have also invested heavily and can't afford big rent rises. It's ridiculous. It's unsustainable. Um, basically, businesses down here won't be able to survive with that sort of increase. Um, you know, the thought behind it, I think, is that businesses down here make an absolute fortune, um, which, you know, business down here make a living. They don't make an absolute fortune. They're being backed by a local councillor who says the seafront needs its independent traders. Let's not mess with that by just being overly greedy with the rent increases. There's no, there's no need for that. Um, the, the traders are open to having an increase. It's about the level of the increase and how that's actually being imposed on them. This afternoon, the traders submitted a petition calling on the council to review the matter. However, the council says there are no across-the-board increases and they're all dealt with on an individual basis. Generally, the principle we adopt is that rents must reflect market rates. If any trader can show this is not the case, we're very happy to negotiate. Brighton Seafront is one of the busiest in the country and rents will reflect the profits to be made there. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Brighton. Now it's being hailed as the...